Okay, let's see where we are. It's uh, build log number 17, I guess. A uh, bit of a quick update. Not much uh, work going to get done on it tonight, but I wanted to see, wanted to show you where I am. I have taken the clamps off of the saucer, and having only been glued down around the uh, attachment pins, it's good and solid. Now I have got to press fit the uh, impulse deck together but there are I gotta tell you not too many spots around this edge that need to be glued down I think uh, um, I may do a little prying to see what kind of trouble I can get into but it's not going to take a lot of glue around this edge to tell you the truth and uh, if that's the case I'm not going to put a lot of glue around the edge um, I have started looking at these seams that need to be addressed now I did a little bit of red spot puttying. Oh, you can tell where it is. It's wrapped in there. A little bit of smearage. That'll all be touched up. But I used some white tulip, uh, the uh, fabric paint, that uh, to to it makes a very good gap filler and a very good light block. And you can see some of it in there. Now it. Uh, I put some of that in last night and it has dried so I'm gonna sand a bit of that down and touch it up again but uh, that's some in my experience at least some pretty minimal uh, seam filling to worry about uh, I've built ships for years and uh, that's a pretty minimal amount of seam work that needs to be done they're usually in much worse shape than that uh, so, let me uh, power this up so you can see how it looks. I did discover a, um, a feature I wasn't wild about, and it's a, um, let me grab, come on, where's the end of the extension cord, there we go. Um, something I wasn't wild about, and I know exactly why it happened, and I know exactly how to stop it from happening last next time. But, uh, let me turn the overhead light off, and then see if I need to reset the uh, white balance. And, no, I don't like that. White balance, go back over to auto. Yeah, okay, better. Done. Um, sorry about you hearing all these clicks. That's me playing with the camera. Um, lighting it up. I did not fully insulate, not insulate isn't the right word, isolate perhaps is a better word, the uh, double blinking spots and particularly this one and this one they look fine now they show up they do the double blink it's beautiful this one in, in the front is particularly good but when i put the main lights on the double blink is still there it's not as noticeable and it's because the fiber optic is um in too close a proximity to the window lights and once that happened the uh, it's picking up the transfer of light from the window lights and so the fiber optic is never truly ever dark uh, around it and I think the, the best way to handle that on the next build will be to uh, either put some of that um, tape or uh, the you know, liquid tape on it to um, insulate that that uh, fiber optic away from the window lights isolate it is, is probably a better term not insulate to isolate it so that it doesn't get the uh, influence of the the window lighting i mean the window lighting is very good and then when i turn the window lights off those blinks are much more noticeable but it has to do with how directly the fiber optic is uh touching the light the, the, you know the light source for it and how much it needs to be isolated from the other ones now everything else is cool now and and that's 
very much admittedly small potatoes. If I had, if that was the only problem I had to deal with um, in the real world, I would be more than happy. But because everything else is going so well, um, little things like that are starting to, to pop up. It would be, uh, it's still a, a grand success by any measure. Let me uh, get some schmutz off of here that uh, has gotten on it. De schmutz it. But here you go. It is, let me get around it from the back. Turn those lights on. There you go. Everything is nice and bright and shining and beautiful. And the next step is to go through and just pick an area and uh, detail paint. I'm going to knock these, uh, let these seams dry in a little bit more and then start sanding the seams and closing those up. Okay, here you can see the, uh, the saddle parts uh, a little bit of, with a little bit of red spot putty on them. And I did put the saucer together or, or, or work the seam a little bit with some 10x. And I took off that last, uh, well you can see, almost see it, uh, the uh, last stripe of the template. The, uh, I also pushed together the impulse deck area and you can see that I had to spot putty that a little bit. Now that the major construction is done, uh, it's much like same thing that happens in a house when you're building a house. The big showy stuff is done and now it's just a question of circling in and making ever smaller circles on painting over the details. So uh, the reports are probably going to get shorter and shorter and have incrementally less to show because all the big flashy stuff has been done. But tonight's uh, project is the following. These guys here, these four bits, um, they're covered with decals in the kit itself, uh, but they're the kind of the big overly graphic decals that I'm not wild about. Uh, I recently got a, a high-res render from my uh, inside source, Daniel Broadway, and uh, Pixel Magic, as he's known, and they show something that is more consistent with uh, other pictures that I've seen, where they have this these shapes to be a more or less solid tan color. So I'm going to mask these off and paint those tonight. And there are the painted uppers. They're looking kind of tannish. Um, don't know how wild I am about this color, but uh, it will grow on me, I'm sure. Let me take a look at it in another light. Yeah, I may need to uh, mist over that with a little bit of white to uh, knock that down, make that look a little less severe, but. Uh, all in all, I like it. Certainly better than those uh, uh, lined decals. Yeah, I could see putting a. Uh, there's another uh, another detail detail color going that goes right in here on that leading edge, but I can see misting that over with a little bit of white to knock that color down. It's maybe it's just the shock of the new, but it looks a little too stark. All things can be worked out. 